Don't this blame him. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How are you? Alhamdulillah, how are you? How are you? <laughs> no, I feel very good. 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 Very So did you see your date's availability that we can fit you? Alhamdulillah, Jazakumullah khairan for your proposal. I'm sorry. Oh, we are bringing the Sheikh to Nul Huda, inshallah. For Juma or speech? No, yeah, anything. Anything. No, to be the Imam there. No, no, even visiting with a big tasbih in the hand on the right side, you know, walking in the masjid, you know. <laughs> you know, they, inshallah, mashallah, may Allah reward them for their intention. And they had requested me, and I told them that, inshallah, I will give you an answer. So we made the time, you understand. They had requested for me to go visit the other mosque, which is called Nur al Huda. Okay, uh, pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it Nur and Huda, which is not in my view. Okay, do you understand my English? Yeah, yeah. The name of the mosque is Nur al Huda, okay? Which I don't, I say, I pray that Allah make it Nur, lights, and Huda, guidance, which I don't believe that it is Nur or guidance. And this is my personal opinion. So, uh, especially my dear respected brother here had said he doesn't want me to reject. He, before I know what he want to talk about, he say, <laughs> I want to ask you something, but I don't want you to tell me no. I love him much and respect him a lot, but my love to the deen and to the Prophet وسلم, and the teaching of Islam is much greater than love of anybody, even my own family. I always tell them this, okay? Alhamdulillah, I came to America not because I want to get a degree, which is nothing wrong to get a degree. I didn't come here to get married, which is nothing wrong to get married. I didn't come here to have business, which is nothing wrong to have business, okay? So I came here for purpose of the da'wah, okay? I used to live in Mecca, all right? And I have the Kaaba in front of me every day. I don't have to do anything, okay? So nobody will give up the Kaaba. I don't go there, you understand? For Umrah and leave was no, I was living there, but I gave this up for something that I believe that higher and greater. This is the da'wah, and to go and teach and talk to the people about Islam and about the Sunnah. This is the reason I came to America. Alhamdulillah. So I respect both brothers, and both of them are dear to me. I respect them highly. But my respect and my love to the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, greater than anybody, even my own children and my own family. Okay, so I don't know how much that you guys know. This my my answer. It can be summarized in one uh, word, which means no. And now since he says the Sunnah, no, no, no. I said no, no, three but times. Let me, but if yeah. you want explanation, I'll be glad to go in explanation. But if you want to know, am I willing? My schedule is available. My schedule is available, you understand? But I don't accept such invitation. Does that mean I said no to the request? May Allah bless you both for your intention. But I have a reason why not. This up to you if you want to know why is the reason. I, I have no fear or shame to say why, but if you want to know what is my answer, my answer is no. Now it's up to you. You want to go in details or you want to cut it short here and we still, we still have friends regardless. He understands the subject or any subject because regardless, whatever we still Muslims, we have to love each other for the sake of Allah. We agree or disagree. We still. You, my brothers, I respect you, I love you, understand? But as for me to go to this mosque or any other mosque in Colombia, I don't go. Neither I want to even know which trees exist, to be honest with you. But in, 
accepting invitation in Islam. A Muslim, we are at least alhamdulillah, we are in the fold of Islam. Okay. Of no, no, alhamdulillah, let me say, heart of a Muslim and the Kaaba, you can destroy Kaaba, not the heart of a Muslim. I'm just uttering my, my heart, brother. I'm listening. Because I, subhanAllah, for the 10 plus years, I've been, I come more to you than there, I tell you. I agree more to you than sometimes there, you know. And I object in front of them at, at times also, you know, Brother Farhan knows that, you know, my argument's there. But being in the just fold of La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah mm -hmm. takes us from, from nowhere to everywhere, to takes us from, it's, it's, subhanAllah, that's the biggest common denominator, the bottom line. Mm -hmm. And how to reconcile among us la mm tafarraku, -hmm. farka. Alhamdulillah. When you go there, you don't say a word, you don't follow them at all. You just, you're, you're going there, standing there. Mm -hmm. If it brings the hearts together, mm -hmm. I feel like the skin, mm -hmm. Muslims are together. Alhamdulillah. I tell you, you don't have to follow nothing, you don't have to say nothing. Mm -hmm. Just come arriving mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying, let me, because I'm, I'm expressing myself, so I feel comfortable when I leave. I'm this is me, you know. <laughs> I'm listening. So, if we do the steps in this community, just walking to the Muslim, mm -hmm. just player of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and just mm -hmm. for la ilaha illa Muhammad mm -hmm. Rasulullah, without any ism, without saying anything. Mm -hmm. Because information that we have from the from sources, Allah knows best they are right or wrong. Mm -hmm. Whatever conception we have for anybody else, Allah mm -hmm. knows best right or wrong. Mm -hmm. Who is better in the eyes of Allah? Allah knows best. Mm -hmm. So having all said this for the player of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mm -hmm. that at least two men came, three men came. Mm -hmm with this hope and love that you know mm -hmm. just for the player subhanallah mm -hmm. i went with you hajj on the first year on 2001 went again with you mm -hmm. you mashallah going every year for what not to just have a trip not to have a photo up there just to get ourselves accepted ourselves mm -hmm. and inshallah if we add on this factor in this town i know your point of view and i tell you my heart i agree more with you this is my, I'm telling you in front of brothers and sisters, than anything else, you know. Mm -hmm. Being very clear, because deen is not like you're going from a spot to spot, just like Surah Sallallahu Alaihi today we heard such a beautiful explanation of that. You know? mm -hmm. So you can even, I would tell brother Farhan brought a topic or give a topic on this, I would say no, no, no topic. Sheikh Hathali comes, he has his own topic, if he wants to. If he mm -hmm. wants to say, I'll listen to the Sheikh there, you know, sit with the Sheikh for a while in the Imam Sahib, mm -hmm. let Imam Sahib give a speech and he just comes there with smile and hugs. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's it. You know, I don't want to give you a lecture. You like, you don't have to give a lecture there. No, I'm listening. No, Go ahead. So that's my thing and I'll give it to Brother Farhan because I need to stop myself. Okay, can I uh, yeah. speak about what you said first? Yeah, sure. Okay, Zakallah Khair. After your permission, inshallah. Uh, in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was a mosque built, okay? And they went to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, asked him to come, you understand, to pray in the mosque. And the Prophet was about to do it, okay? Allah revealed to him, and revelation written in Quran, okay? And said to him not to go, not to pray in it, okay? I did not say these people kafir. Like he said, we, all of us say, la ilaha illallah, and this brings us together regardless, okay? So, and Allah said to the Prophet, a mosque which established own piety, okay? This is what deserve for you to pray in it. I am here in Colombia before you, maybe before Brother Farhan also, I'm not sure, okay? And Brother Sultan, for sure, <laughs> all right? But you know or you don't know the history that Colombia Islamic Center or Islamic Center of Colombia or Masjid al Muslimin was the first mosque that exists in this town, okay? That exists in this town. Yes, it was another mosque, but this was not you call it Muslim, not Muslim, you know who I'm talking about, you understand, uh, Mantasolo Road, okay? This was under, uh, what is it mean, Muhammad, and this was totally something, okay? But the only mosque was about, you can call about Sunnah, this Muslim Muslim. 
the people had remained under one mosque and one imam in whole Colombia area, north, west, east, whatever, for at least a minimum of 15 years, at least, okay? The mosque, so-called Nur al-Huda, or any other mosque that rebuilt or built or rented after this, it was for a different purpose, for a different purpose. And those who had started without mentioning anybody's name had to try with me, okay? The same people who's in charge or way in charge, they kept with me talking to me about their ideology, their principles, their view about Islam and the Sawf and Sufism and the Wali and the dreams for a long time, at least a minimum of six months with all respectable way you understand and we share we said and i will have subhanallah allah bless me in that time that i have a long uh, patience that i sat and listened and i saw in my dreams this and the wali said this and the prophet understand this and that and we went so finally when the person okay understood that i'm not about something different and I don't to go for this stuff, decide to go and open and purchase or get another mask. So I know the mask what been originally started for, because it was not that we don't have enough room, that we don't have, you understand, door open for everybody, but because a different understanding of the deen, the ideology, the mask been open. So it's not established on the proper. So my visitation, at least to my person, not that I'm saying these people, like the brothers say, if they have a uh, Playboy magazine under their bed or whatever, regardless whatever, they still stay a shadow of Allah, Allah, Muhammad, Rasulullah. They're my brothers and my sisters. But my presence, there is a difference between, as example, Brother Habib or brother Khalis, any other brother go to pray there, this is fine, okay? Me, as if I'm putting a fingerprint, putting a seal, okay, giving a, a green light to other people, okay, like you say, repeat it three times, okay, I'll be giving green light to some people who do not understand, okay? In the future, they will say, but Imam Adli came and they pray here. Imam Adli visited here, okay? So to some people, I'm saying yes to this, okay? Not that I'm saying these people are not Muslims, because no way I will say this, because I fear for my deen before anybody. I'm not going to be crazy and label anybody this. But I say these people are not, most of them, or the, at least the founders, or those who started this, they are not about the sunnah of the Prophet as it's supposed to be. If I be there, you understand, I'm giving indirect green light to people that this is okay and will be in the history of Colombia, okay, to some people generation will come, okay, and this is not is something against Indo-Pakistani people, no. This mask or the other mask or the other mask. Because after this mask been established, three or four masks were established. Alhamdulillah, I never been in any one of them. Alhamdulillah, I did not know even the address. Neither you understand I talk or promote any of what is he doing. If somebody really concerned about learning, I'm here. If somebody concerned about dialoguing or debating, I'm open and respectable, okay? Alhamdulillah, the Imam came twice or three times here in different occasions. I got up, I uh, welcome him, you understand, show him the respect, everything, you understand? But for me to go in person there, this will be a big mistake. I'll be very, very honest with you. In my uh, direction and my a commitment to the sunnah because it will misunderstood and misread by other people. Therefore, I don't think 
You understand? Not that I, 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 you understand, like I said, my love to Allah and the Sunnah of the Prophet greater than anybody, but I still appreciate both of you, you understand, coming and making this attempt. But I maybe give alternative that instead of saying, come and pray there, okay, I would say, why we don't make something, some place does not have to be here, neither there, in, in a hall, and bring the imam there, and bring me, if I want, you understand, and let a point, bring a point of Islam, and see the different view, and let's see why this man saying right, and this man saying left. Now, if you do that dialogue, as you said, out of this masjid, which is a good point, you know, and inshallah, if we share the views among the imams, or at least two imams, you know, I don't want to commit for a third one. Because nobody will answer no, you for your no, knowledge. No, I know what no, other what people. Saying, yeah. So if you two imams sit together outside the masjid, or in this masjid, the imam is ready to come and say what they Inshallah, that should clear your heart. And then after this little talk and little discussion, you should come and visit that masjid. What I'm saying is we, there's no final stamp that you cannot do it because invitation is there. We are all Muslims, alhamdulillah. It's not that you uh, believe in all the activities being done somewhere. You go for Salat, you say Salam, and nobody is like Musalli or Imam or whoever. You know, we are all Muslim brothers. And if the Imam comes and the hearts, you get united all over more. You see, if I go there, um, it's me. Then you go there, the whole two massages heart go together. Now what is happening? Because when you're not going, people here feel, we don't have to go there. Oh, this Bidda. Oh, this Musalli we're doing. So we are communities like stuck. Mm -hmm. You don't see anybody from this masjid mm -hmm. ever going there except for few, alhamdulillah, one of me. What is happening? This polarization in the town. The town is stuck with the two different people. And here we are crying on the member, brother Allah give us. Mm -hmm. And the Muslims are beaten up like in our home, home countries, but you mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, mm -hmm. this bring people together, people together, closing mm -hmm. the heart, closing the gaps, mm -hmm. even though we believe in this, but Allah will reward you what you believe in and what you preach. Mm -hmm. The right... Uh, you Quran specialize in what, brother? Excuse I specialize me, in... In medicine. In medicine. Okay. I'm a specialized by the will of Allah indeed. If I start to talk to you about penicillin or any kind of medicine, you know, you, in your back of your mind, it says this man doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we start to talk, both of us, about basketball, maybe we come closer to, to something. You try to tell me something, what is supposed to be. I say that the mistake is yours before me. Do you know why? Because when you found somebody opening another location, you had supported. You went there, you've been there, you understand? I'm not so, talking to you no, as a person. I, I agree. So I do not put the blame I on me that, and the people. But, can, I, can I finish, so, yeah, please? Yeah. So, uh, so when we split the community, yeah. when we allow somebody to come and split the community by opening another mosque, and after this you come to tell me, by seeing the imam there, you understand, you gain the hearts of the people. What You understand, you are not... You are not talking practicality, you are not re talking real, you understand, because action bigger than words, you understand. You, somebody, you had allowed or you had supported, I'm not mean you, you, okay, that somebody else come and open another mask. Why such person open another mask and another mask and another mask because they did not believe in the principles of this mask. So there is different ideology, different understanding. So you be joking and kidding yourself. I'll be very frank, okay? You be kidding yourself that you're going to bring the community together. You see, when you go to a non-Muslim country, you go with the need of dawah that's allowed. To come to America and live and earn money is haram. To come in education and do dawah is halal to America. Same thing, you feel like the, the, the ideology is not right, practice is not right. Go for the purpose of dawah. Go for purpose of going, at least going one step towards them so they can get corrected. Who's you know? him? Who's him? Okay, mean the Muslim. mass. Muslim. The mass of the people. We are not talking about the mass of not people. Mas not Muslim, I'm saying that the, the people who actually open the mask, the mask under who now? It's getting worse. Now it was a wound, now it's operation on the heart. You know, Allah knows best. <laughs> you Akhi, know. No, 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 no. Let's, let's, let's be honest with each other. Don't think because I'm sitting no, here, no, no, I don't know what's going on in Colombia. The mask under who? Now, 
under Allah's command. No, 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 no. Under no. Allah's committee, the Khadmin of the Masjid. May Allah no, 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 no. Come on. But you, no, know, no, no. you know who's the mask. No, no. This is all on YouTube. No, but no, no, get out of the YouTube now. I tell no, you. YouTube? No, 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 the, the knowledge from YouTube can harm this community. No, no, no. no. Uh, forget about YouTube. Did I say YouTube? No, no. What I'm saying is. I think for both of us, you understand, we have to hold the conversation for a second. Because you was going to give it to Brother Farhan. Yeah, so we don't want to be... No, no, no. no this you point. understand? We have to share. And after this, we I can take it I finished my there. thing, but let Brother Farhan. I'm, I'm a good listener. Zakallah <laughs> yeah, We want to learn <laughs> also from you to be a good listener, inshallah. Zakallah khair. Alhamdulillah. 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 And I asked you one day, do you think that, uh, do you doubt my sincerity with any, with any way? And your words were that I can put my hand on Quran, I do not doubt your sincerity. And they still, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. Sheikh, uh, when the masjid was formed, when the masjid was built, uh, first of all, the masjid was not built to counter this masjid in any way. People did have different schools of thoughts, no, no doubt about it, and they still are today as we speak. Some people tried their best to put a label on that masjid. These are the things nobody knows in the community because they have never been talked about, especially with you. They did their best to put this label. People came up to me, they said, what are you doing? Like. Uh, you have to pick a side, you have to either go this way or you have to go that way. Even my own father-in-law, I'm, I'm sitting in the masjid. You know. We said, that was, my opinion was, let's, you know, if the Shia person can come in here and pray, we should not put a label outside that this is the end of a sub of, of a Sufi. And, it's not like that. It's a masjid like any other masjid, masjid. Like everybody come and pray. So that group pretty much, you know, I mean, they still come here and there. Brother Zan comes. He does his programs and other things. You know. We, Masjid Nurul Rah is an operation almost 10 plus years. You know. I have not seen any masjid in my whole life where I have seen somebody committing shirk. People do have different schools of thoughts. Neither we propagated any ism over there as far as I have been going there. You know. uh, even though I come from a die hard, I should not be saying, <laughs> I come from a very die hard selfie family. Die hard for? Salafi family. That's another problem. No? <laughs> Die hard and Salafi together. <laughs> <laughs> and if I, half of them, they spend more of their lives in Saudi than in Pakistan. I mean, but they still respect everybody. I mean, I have no, I'm not saying. So, we, the information that gets to you, basically, gets through lots of different indirect channels. 80, 90 percent of that information is not valid, I'll tell you that up front. We are not propagating Sufism, at this particular ism, and this is it, brother, this is, this is the way, or there's no way. We, alhamdulillah, they have established a constitution, they are, they have all the board of directors, other things, they have the, uh, what you may call it, the uh, board members, board or whatever, everything is there. You know. Community is growing. We do not want you to do anything. Personally, I do not want you to, I request you not to do anything that challenges the principles of Islam, especially for future generations. That, brother, we okay this one, let's see, it's okay for us to do it. No. People think this is the Bidah Masjid, we should not go there. Because there's lots of Bidahs going on there. You know, they, you know, as you said, they, they have like uh, men and women are taking food from the same table, they are looking at each other. Women are not properly dressed up, you know. 
there are lots of other things you know so we do not want you to compromise the deen anyway wallahi you know in any way you know we want you to stick what is right what is true you know what is the sunna what is the most closest to sunna you know this is my true feeling over there we to my understanding yeah we are not related nobody sends us any centralized information we are not directly connected with any organization people have tried in the past that who sends us the guideline that this is the guideline you have to follow you know neither do we want to do that you know what you are saying minhaj al quran i think you mentioned tahr al qadri earlier you know they have a great i mean i wish uh, you have your own views about that person you know but the impression is that the masjid has been given to his hand now he has his books there he has his philosophy there they truly purely practice sufism they spread sufism and uh, they are far from the sunna the be you know and they are people of bidah this is the general practice a uh, general impression uh, i have mashallah communities doing their lots of brothers over there they sense lots of salawat do the salam on the prophet after the salat you know and there are lots of other people they do the zikr sometimes they sit and i also join with them you know and i have not seen anybody you know doing anything which is contrary to the principles of his main core teachings of islam people do have different schools of thoughts no doubt about it some fathers father, father, shafi hanafi you know, whoever they are and uh, so i mean this is this reality on ground my personal desire you know it's very hard breaking every time i talk to home you know other places no matter what must we go there only seven or ten people you know we come here we come there we come by fajr prayer you know 10 people as long look at the size of our community you know from that aspect yeah one must have would have been good enough you know if we could really motivate the people come there you know somebody is driving 30 miles from there 25 miles let's populate the masjid this masjid okay you know but people have different desires they say okay i want to build the house of allah you know so i would not tell anybody to doubt the desires of my father and law or i was not part of building the masjid but i tried to hear and there whatever the, you know it was their ikhlas and niyat is there i don't think any one of them who were involved built that to counter masjid muslim i'm speaking here I'm sitting here, and I saw a dream one time. I told you that you and me were standing here, we prayed in this masala behind the prophet. This was my dream. You know, I think I mentioned that dream to you one time. That I saw that we prayed behind the prophet. Yes. Who? Me and you? Me, yes, sir. I think I mentioned that to you. Subhanallah. Wallahi, I would never do anything. that could hurt any masjid you know that could hurt you you know we often talk about the dawa program here you know, did you read the i mean i think long you may have still the what is islam book i think one of the best book one of the best comprehensive compact introduction to islam you know. we often talk about you be going for taking the hajj you know there it is so we wallahi we never say anything to anybody don't go to that masjid you know come here don't go to that masjid you know rather we were talking saying the other day i think brother 
the treasurer uh, Basa made the announcement. He said, well, you know, populate the masajid, go to all the masajid, wherever you can go, and wherever much as you want to have, just help. Okay. So this is the reality on the ground. And uh, nobody will do, they do not get any direct in front of the uh, funding. They, do, they are not under any control, anybody. That thing was done just to, okay, secure the property. Because he and his organization is probably the, probably the only one. If you go to Pakistan, if you look at their structure, is the only one who is closest to the quote-unquote the Salafis, uh, the people of Jamaat, Tablighi Jamaat, you know. Any group that I mean you, you mentioned, is, they are probably standing in the middle. They have nothing against any, you know, I, I mean, uh, uh, any any particular group. Yeah, they're not. He's not extreme from them. They are not extreme, and that was one reason, you know, to put the. Uh, they basically what they did. They introduced the South Carolina chapter chapter of the Nazir Quran and put the transfer the property from Dr. Shami's name to under that. As a non-profit, it was non-profit before, but under that South Carolina chapter, they transferred the property. They do not get any funding from there. Everything is local indigenous, you know, you call it. You know. Only reason whether Fayaz, what he's saying, is that being you there, I understood your point because when there was open house first day, I came to you, I asked you to come in and give a khutbah lecture. You said, me being there would mean that as if I'm approving lots of things. You know, at that time, I don't know. It could have been a different, you know, uh, perspective, a different, uh, I, 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 I don't know at that time. Today, as we speak, if you go there, you know, Give a khutbah or lecture or bidah. You know, you want to come there, give a khutbah, juma khutbah or the bidah. What is bidah? You know, just tell the people this is something you're doing wrong. Yeah. Tell anything that this is something you are doing wrong, this is against Islam. Yeah. That's all we are asking. <coughs> we are not. That time is gone when people will think, oh brother, oh, you already put a stamp on that, you are also a Sufi brother. You know, we followed you for 30 years in this community. Look what you turned out to be. Brother, everybody from here can go and listen to the same ideology. Okay, brother Farhan, excuse me for one point. Did you initiate this mask? Did you? This mask? Or that no, mask? the other mask. Sheikh. Dr. Shami is a very simple, easy-going person. It was his desire when he moved from Saudi to here, like... Uh, so uh, so that means it was not you? I, I, I will tell you the whole okay. your answer. Okay. When he moved from Saudi to here, you know, he had the feeling he should do something for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because he felt as if I came here for lose and make money and, you know, I'll be asked for that. So I want to put a house of Allah here. This was his dream and desire. Okay. He has his own views. He still has his own views. You know, him and maybe a couple of other people that they have been living here, you know, before, at the time when you came to this community, you know, so they got together and they started the project. The project was uh, not going anywhere, you know. Then I had to, me a couple of other brothers, we jumped in and we, alhamdulillah, completed the project. Yeah. That time, some people tried, okay, uh, put on, under my organization, put on my, so on, this thing kept on going on. And uh, well, my opinion was, let's, let's keep things, you know, in a way that you come there, you feel comfortable, we come there, everybody feel comfortable. You want to do zikr, you can do zikr, you know. If 
to do what I do. Let's let them do that, you know. So that phase was over. Project was initiated by my father-in-law, not me. Good. To your question. No. Okay. I want to see Islamically. It's not easy. I don't. I don't discuss things according feeling. You want to do this. You want to do this. I like. It. Okay. Your father-in-law, which I don't want to even bring his name now here in the. But like I said, when he came to you, okay, he knew there is a mosque, there is an imam. He sat with me instead of one time, hundreds of times. Okay, I got to know his views. He got to know my views. After six or seven months or whatever. He understood we could not meet together, okay? Because, as example, you want to do something for Allah? If this mosque, I understand, was 50 feet, you want to make it 100 feet? One. But he, the views, it didn't match. He's the one who went and understood this, okay? Now, I want to tell you, ask you, according Imam Adam, Imam Abu Hanif, or Shafi, or Malki, okay? or humbly, where is in Islam is permissibility of starting another mosque in the same town which is a mosque established. So actually the originality, your foundation is not been established correctly. And now you want me to show up there for what reason? Okay, so he as views did not meet with my views, not called because it's mine, he would tell me about the dreams and this and that, and I'm telling him the Quran and Sunnah. He telling me this and the wali and the dreams and so after a while, and he was so patient and I was so patient with him, sit and talk and sit and talk and talk. He understood that we have two different views. So now, even if we have the same views, I want to know where Islamically correct from Hadith, Quran, from Madhab. Not even my madhab, his madhab, Hanafi, show me the permissibility of having two Juma in the same town. He has a different school of thought, no doubt about it. Not, not one of these four? No, what I'm saying, he, he follows Hanafi. Okay, good. I want to know according Hanafi, is it permissible to do this? The, but, 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 but my point is that. I asked him that question. Not him, but a couple of other brothers. Is this masjid going to be built on this reason for this reason? Not having the same school of thought? It's absolutely not. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. What I'm saying. Does that mean according what you just the said, Hanafi school is okay? No, what I'm saying, what you are just saying, mm. that he said with you, had so many different meetings, and mm. he found out. Hmm. You have a totally different opinion, and he has a totally different opinion. Exactly. So you could not go along together, Ex so he went uh, because he had different reasons, so he go. Okay. I asked him specifically that is this the reason that your views are different than Sheikh Radli's views, are, and this is the uh, foundation block of building this masjid? He said this is not true. Oh, it's not true? He said, I am building it. Hmm. Because? I am building this because I had the intention to oh. build another house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh. Sheikh, from here what I'm saying is that it's a learning curve. It has nothing to do with the Aqidah. It has nothing to do with the school of thought. It has nothing to do with the Imam. No, I say it is. Okay. Number, see, you could not, in Islam, you could not do things according imagination, dreams, Good intention, good intention doesn't it change the deed to be right. His intention to do something good for Allah, to build a house of Allah. Go in a place which you know mosque and put a mosque. But you come in, in town which a mosque established, okay? Maintain with the imam, with opening every day, opening for all the people, doesn't matter, you Shia, you Sufi, you come, you pray, you borum books from the library you have everything the only thing you could not teach there unless you qualify to teach same thing you do not operate in somebody unless you are qualified you don't wear a white coat this will make you a doctor you can be a butcher so the person is not because his intention because now his intention i don't want to get into it 
Yes, maybe this is his intention. I want to do something for Allah. But according what is permissible to do this? You could not feed a person who already just ate because you intention to do something good. But now you're going to make him choking and you're going to make him vomiting and you're going to rush him to the hospital. So it's not because I have intention, okay, that my action is right. So now how I can support your action? There is a mask exist, opening every day, active. The whole community, doesn't matter, black, white, Indo, Pakistani, male, female, everybody coming. Why do you go open? It's because I have intention? Is this correct Islamically? So is this what we need to ask, Akhi? Is the mask established on piety? Is established according to Quran and Sunnah, according to Imam Abu Hanifa? Do you know is no is not permissible to have two Jum'ah in the same town? You the people talking about bringing the hearts of the Muslim, you already destroy the whole thing. You already gave them room. You are not going to be able to bring them back again together. By no means. For 15, 20 years, people praying behind same imam. Doesn't matter if it's me or not. It's the same mass. All their activity. One Eid, one Ramadan, one, 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 everything. Somebody came because I want to do something for Allah. But the action is not right. Let me tell you one story to break the eyes a little bit. You understand? Maybe getting a little bit tense. He used to, if you don't allow me for two minutes, the story, okay? Ten minutes. Exactly. He mm-hmm. used to be like here in America, they have dogs, okay? The best pets, they understand that you have a, a pet animal. So before they say that you used to have a bear, a big, huge animal, okay? A bear. Okay, fairy. So when the man go to hunt or go out in the forest, he takes the bear with him. The man went to sleep under a tree. All right? Take a nap. And the bear is standing there beside his companion watching for him. Okay? A fly come on the face. So the bear understand move like this. The fly comes back again and lay down in his face. The bear got tired. He doesn't want his owner to get disturbed with the fly. You follow me? So finally he did what? Because every time he do like this, the fly go and come back. He took a big rock and waited. As soon as the fly came, boom, and he threw it and he killed the fly. And he did what? He killed the owner. So the bear have a good intention, okay? But because he did not use the proper methodology, he did not see what is right, what is wrong, he damaged it. Now how are you going to bring life to this person that you kill? So father-in-law have good intention, and inshallah I don't doubt, although that we disagree about the principles, and that I can see because he has room to pray. He has room to sit with me. He has a room, you understand, that we can sit and talk and talk and talk. I never know a person that we have talk with him because he's older than me or it seemed to me in that time that he's older than me, okay? So I give him this respect. Any time after Salah, we used to say 10, 15 minutes after almost every, every day. And I sat and wait and listen and hear from him, okay, out of respect, you understand? older person and he have very nice dialogue and all these things. But finally he understood we are not about the same principles. Now I don't to go in his heart. Maybe his heart is correct. Inshallah. He has the intention not to do something for Allah. But this was the bear that took a stone and crushed and killed his owner. According Islam, according methodology, according Sunnah, according Imam Abu Hanifa, you could not have two mosques in the same town. You could not have two Jum'ah. He started this. So now how are we going to correct it? Yes. Sorry. Uh, uh, what is, is there any definition? Uh, what is the town meaning? Columbia, South Carolina is down the same way, stay for 20 years, praying behind the same imam with the same mosque. Like so the people coming from like Dhaka, everywhere. Dhaka is a town, okay, like Mecca is a town, Medina is a town. 
Okay. So then, uh, as people get more shahada from around the place, as people are like me coming from other places, and I have kids, you have kids, good. and they're growing. Good. Good. As the community is growing, mm -hmm. and Columbia City, 30 years ago when you came in, mm -hmm. was like this, mm -hmm. and now people are good, like 50, 100 miles beautiful radius. I got your point. So then, uh, <coughs> do do you think? I mean, you know, now, now what is your? I'm just asking a question. Few. The solution, 100 miles from here okay. to this mosque. No, 100 what miles. What are you going to do? Okay, this is traveling 100 miles. Okay, so let's exam give you example with Raleigh. Because I witnessed to see how rally also grow. Okay, you know now they making three juma as example in the same mosque, but the community, okay, didn't split, did not have another mosque, another imam. They, the resources became, you understand, see the needs. They have it bigger, bigger, and bigger, and they have one place that, if you're talking about. People having one Eid, one Ramadan, one Imam, one direction is there in Raleigh, North Carolina. You can go and see it. In Makkah at the time of Rasulullah, six or seven masajid, was there one Juma? There was no Juma in another masjid. I'm just exam because we should go to Makkah in the right way. At the time of Rasulullah, sallam, there were more than five or six masajid. That's what I understand or heard. Question is. Were they having only Juma in the Masjid and Nabi, or there were other Jumas going on and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam approved it? Wherever, I don't know about six, seven yeah, and, okay. At least this is my knowledge. At least I say, I say, I don't know because I don't want you know, to that's, that's the point. If we okay, have the more I, than Juma, then we cannot. Yeah. Okay. So, but if you go to the Fiqh books and all these things, okay, you found that there is something called Al-Masjid Al-Jami'ah. Al al okay. So you may have a Musalla. Like northeast, like you asked me about before, or northwest, and yeah. okay, but everybody for Juma, there is main mosque. So the split actually happening is not if you have a musalla someplace, okay, this is a different story. But the ideology, the teaching, the direction that been brought to the people, if it's been attended like this or not, but this what had exist, okay, we're giving the people the same culture. The same, you understand whatever they want. If somebody wants to dance, we give him to dance. If somebody wants hot food, we give him hot food. Whatever you like, we have it. So you come here, okay? And if you don't like this, we can open another mask for you. So maybe this is not the way that started. But because we did not ask, okay, what is the right way, okay, to do something. The intention, inshallah, was good, but still the principle is not correct because you move the other person move we have a children okay we are not splitting the community giving them different direction different teaching different imams as a result of this now you see that colombia can have two and three eid okay in colombia south carolina for 1980 until almost 19 93 or whatever it is, I don't keep dates and all these things, that one Ramadan, one Eid, one everything, okay? Doesn't matter. People come and go. People come and, and, and pray outside in one place. We're praying in one place. One day, everything uh, with, okay? Here, here's my question. Uh, coming uh, to, to, to this town new, from a new person's lens of eyes, how can we pray, let's say, I'm just asking uh, for your direction. Mm -hmm. How can we pray, let's say, this Eid uh, al-Adha, the whole community, in one place outside? Uh, can we do it, you think? We did it. We did it many times. Okay. Okay. We well, did it in the state park. Ago. We did it in the state park. Before. Like I said, we do not have any message in Colombia, okay? In 1980, was one mosque, the black Muslims, or the Elijah, or the Farrakhan, or Warisidin, whatever you want to name it, okay? And I try with them, of course, okay, first before anything. When I found that people have a total different ideology, it's not even like Shafi and Hanafi, we can, no, with something totally 
<laughs> different, okay? Doesn't matter, hadith in Bukhari, not Bukhari. If the Imam says the hadith is not correct, it's not correct. Is this verse, you understand, can you apply it? So with something totally different, okay? But with the only mosque that been built, okay? And the people, students, professionals, black, white, Indo Pakistani, doesn't matter what school of thought. We never teach even schools, okay? For 10 to 15, 20 years, whatever, Eid prayer, Juma prayer, everything is one place. We never have two Eids. But now, with more masajid, now we start to hear about two Eid in Columbia, South Carolina, three Eid in Columbia, South Carolina. Why? Because people came because they have ideology, different ideology. There is nobody came, have an idea of a school or teaching classes or anything from all these people in Colombia, okay, that fits with the Sunnah, not according to my understanding, the Sunnah, and we said to them, no, never, okay? Same thing about this, what you call the school or what the couple of our, whatever they are, everybody, okay? We open the mask for everybody. It was not Muhammad Adli's mask. This is not my mask. Okay, but the people, because they have different ideology, they have to go and establish their ideology. If they are Ikhwani or Tablighi or Sufi, so according what they want, you understand, they have to design their own restaurant. Why well, I'm going to eat in somebody else's restaurant or even drop a dime or even show up there, why well, I have my own restaurants? Why? That mean, I don't like the food that my, I don't appreciate my wife cooking. Now I'm going someplace else, okay? Or at least I'm giving my wife and she will read it this way, okay? So actually it been demonstrated before. People came in and out, in and out, moved, they grow, they get less. And basically, let's be honest with each other. Where in any mosque that there is activity, that the place could not accommodate them. Only because Juma. Only Juma, when you found, you understand, the mask is not enough. And according also, the school of thoughts, if you go, he's telling you, even if the mask is not big enough, people can prostrate in each other back. Because unity, Akhi, in al Islam, based in pure intention and true methodology, it accommodates everybody even if it's a small place. But if you have a big place, but you are not about the same principles, the place is not going to accommodate us. So it's not what's in the building, it's the heart. What you're about. You understand? If both of us are about the same thing, a small bedroom will be accommodating all of us. Right. Okay, and yeah, and so, um... As, as the state of uh, current state of yeah. status Good. is already set uh -huh. for whatever reason. Uh -huh. So now, how we can, let's say, pray in one place? You mean Eid? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm asking for your direction. To me, to be honest with you, yeah. and I'm, you see, this one thing about me, I never fear to talk. I don't have fear to say my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Even if I'm wrong, okay, but somebody say what he's saying is wrong, I say, okay. Oh, yeah, because this is wrong, okay? But something about Quran, Hadith, yes, I'm right. You say I'm wrong, I say, show me. Okay, you show me, now I will back up or I stay on it. To me, I don't care if the people pray it or not. Praying it is not a must. But man, I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. So I'm not worried now about the present condition if the people pray together or not. Because what does this mean? Showing up, I'm, 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 I'm coming to your point. You're concerned that all this Muslim game come in one place and make eight, okay? To me, it's not. Because our hearts are not there. So it doesn't matter, you bring us all in one place, but to you, it's something very important. Yes, it's no problem. Last year, we pray in this uh, King James, or whatever you call this park, okay? If you have 5,000 people, it, it will fit. No problem. This is the sunnah that the Muslims go outside in the suburban area and they pray the Eid. And that we used to be, okay, 10, 15 years ago, everybody come and we go to the state park. 
everybody make one eat. But now everybody, somebody following Egypt, somebody following Saudi Arabia, somebody going by calculation, somebody going by math. Everybody became, you understand, his own style. So visiting or coming or eating together, somebody dying or praying Janaza together is a formality. You know, like an old lady, excuse my expression, an old lady. They start to put all this makeup. But the moment she was, wash her face, she come back to its reality. So this cosmetics or whatever you call it, uh, my English is not that good. You know? So all this is called makeup, salat al eat together, you visiting and all these things, you understand, you back me in the shoulder and you say like this to me and I say this to you and all this, I don't care about it, okay? I like people to be straightforward to the point, okay? You want to deal with reality. Listen, there is a serious problem. We did not operate in you immediately. You're going to die. We're going to have to cut. Yes, we're going to cut. It's going to go look ugly, stitches, and listen, forget it. Give him something. Put him to sleep. Let's cut him. Now, when he wake up, he has a reality and back to life. So, with all respect, some people talking about cosmetics. Salat al together. People feel that we all Muslims, the hearts, and I'm not concerned about it, okay? When I'm dying, meeting Allah, when I go in the day of judgment, the Prophet said, You understand? I want to drink from his fountain. I want to stay in Sunnah. But you understand when the angels come, say, Take some people to the side, they did not say that they are not Muslims, but they did not follow the Sunnah of the Prophet. Yes, all these people Muslims. Dekka mask, uh, Huda mask, uh, Tablighi mask, every. They are Muslims. I could not doubt their Islam. Okay? But this is not what I want to feed my children. This is not what I want to teach the people. Because I love Allah. I love the Sunnah of the Prophet And I love the people. I die for the people. I'm not looking for the people, money, property, anything. I want the people to get the best. I'm not going to go for them, you understand, for anything. If the Starbucks is the best coffee, I want them to have a Starbucks. I don't give them McDonald's coffee. So I want the people the Sunnah, nothing else. I'm not going to go for cosmetics. Salat al-Eid together. You understand? He came to my mosque one time, and after this I come one. And you bring the Imam from the other mosque to pray Taraweeh one night, and you take the Imam from here and one. All this is cosmetics. All this... Makeup. Let's use the words that I know how to say. Okay. Makeup. Okay, so, so, how to bring everybody's heart together? I'm asking your direction. Now you need somebody like you, Dr. <laughs> Farhan, you need Dr. Fresh Muhammad. Fresh Those blood. are the people who come and really think about it. Okay, and listen, Akhi, like something. They asked me to give a lecture about uh, unity or disunity, whatever. I found that this course, or the, or the main course of this unity, is the information. Because if you believe something, I believe something different, we're never going to meet. Okay? So teaching the people the right thing, letting the people know, doesn't matter if the people are going to do it immediately or not. This is not the issue. Like but the, the people need to get to know first that this is the right thing, this is the best, and we'll try to have to accommodate it. Maybe 10, 15, 20 years, I don't have to be here. You understand? They will get to get, why? So if we give the people method, opinions, cultures, all the things, you're giving more disunity and you're keeping them distant far. The more that you preach in the sunnah, the more the people come to acknowledge it, okay, that this is what going to bring the people together. And this is what brought the Sahaba together. Okay, so we have to come back to the originality of the deen. What Allah said, what the Prophet said, how did the Sahaba understood it? If we are not willing to start establishing this and maintain this, believe me, none of this makeup is going to work because after the party over and the woman go back home, she's going to wash her face, now her husband will look to her and say, is this not the same wife I saw here in the party? It looks different, you see. We want to deal with the reality. So now, how we're going to solve it is a bigger than me. Like your question, bigger than me. But we'll take intelligent, smart people of the community. You understand? Like Brother Farhan, Brother Muhammad, they initiating something. 
But my advice to them is that you need to keep thinking and you need to really deal with the problem and see, you understand, how you're going to solve it. And maybe it's not going to be solved today, but maybe your children, you understand, they will see the fruit of it one day, okay? Because the split happened, and it didn't happen one time, it happened one, two, and three, okay? So now it's more difficult, and it's not, be honest with you, it's not by visitation. Who is Muhammad Agli to go say that things will change? Who is Muhammad Agli? Well, well, why are you making him a big term? He's not a big term. He's a man, you understand? They said. But the reality is, you understand? And this, what we're facing here, is what the whole Ummah facing. Why? Because they don't work on it from the beginning. Now Sham used to be Sham. Now they have Palestine and Syria and, and, and they keep breaking everything, the countries and the, and the ideology, everything. We are divided, this reality. Okay? Used to be another story, I'm sorry again. Used to be an old man, before he died, he would bring all his children. He have a lot of children, like me, okay? I'm glad you don't know I have how many children I have. <laughs> so you don't be shocked and stop coming here. He brought all his children, and he have sticks, and ties them together, or puts them together. He asked my, the first son, say, son, break it. He takes the bundle of sticks, he tried to break it, he could not. The second, the third, the fourth, the, all of them. Then the old man, the wise man, he untie, okay, the sticks, and give each one of them a stick, and say, go break it. Break it. The other, Break. He say, you see, sons, listen. You stay together, no one can break you. Nobody can get through you. Thank you, you understood now. You see? Understood the word why we came. But <laughs> the moment that you... The bottom line. <laughs> the point that you started divided and everybody go about his own, you. you understand? The easy, that somebody can break you. This is what the condition of the Muslims. Not only in Egypt, in Syria, Everywhere, okay, and we, everybody in a test, in a small, okay, so when you break it, okay, it's too bad, but we contribute to the break of this. Like I said, for 20 years or lesser, okay, Muslims, they did not know anything in Colombia, okay, except one mosque, one Eid, one everything, okay until some people, they came with good intention, with different ideology, everybody have his own flavor, and now they felt, especially with money also, this person have money, this person supporting, this per person can you understand, hire imam, this person can build a house for the imam, all these things. Alhamdulillah, I understand all these messages, they build the imam, imams get to their imams, and I am the only imam, alhamdulillah, for 38 years, okay, I still even don't have my own house. Alhamdulillah, because I'm not for this. When you're feeding me, when you're giving me a house, giving me a car, now you're going to tell, uh-uh, you could not say this in the member. You could not tell this to my wife. No, I'm a free die, okay? Alhamdulillah. And I'm happy, I'm content, and I, will st I stick to what I believe, okay? If somebody correct me and show me that I'm saying something wrong, I have, alhamdulillah, by this ni'mah from Allah, blessing, that I will stand in Jummah and say, brothers, what I told you last day Jummah was wrong. Thank you, brother, so and so you correct me, and the correction is such and such. I stand for correction. But the problem exists and is serious. And let's be honest with each other. Visitation of Muhammad Adli is not going to change anything. But it's going to be a bad history, in my personal opinion, in my history, okay? Because it will be said, Muhammad Adli had visited so-and-so, so-and-so. Wallah, somebody come and ask me about this mask in Dekka or whatever. Say, people, is there other schools here? I say, yes. Is there other masks in school? Yes. Can you please give? I say, I'm sorry, I don't know. I say, 
I mean it. You got the telephone book. I don't even know. I'll be honest. I don't know the street or the place where. Because I don't care. Honestly, I don't care to know where. Okay? Because those people who started here or there or there, they used to be here. They got to know what we're about. They choose to leave and to start their own. So they are their, their own. Okay? So they said, but I was standing here and I keep teaching, reaching until Allah called my soul to him about it. But some people will read it wrong and it is not right for me to let some people misunderstand me. The Prophet وسلم, he said this is a mask and he was about to go. Allah gave him direction not to go, although the people call it a mask. The people who build it, they build it as a mask. And they want the Prophet to bless it, come, and they pray in our mask. That Allah told him, no, you could not go there. So, Akhi, for me going there, with all respect, may Allah reward the two brothers, or all of you, three of you, or whosoever else have this intention, that, alhamdulillah, may Allah reward you for your intention. But with, I'm sorry to tell you, I'm, I could not make it, I'll be honest with you, but I gave alternative. If any imam believes that what he's teaching is correct and what I'm teaching is wrong, because you see, right could not be two, okay? Right could not be two, all right? Is there a four rak'at or five rak'at? Four rak'at. Four. Four, okay? So could not be four, could not be five, could not be three. But when you teaching something and I'm teaching something, you have to be you right or I'm right. You wrong or I'm wrong. All right? So I think, you understand, I myself will be willing that we as so-called imams or people who lead in Muslims in Colombia, that we take an issue that cause of disagreement and we give this imam they understand a month or two and say the whole muslim community will come we'll take it we're going to sell it for 50 dollars because when you give them free dinner all these things maybe they don't come but you make it 50 dollars imam so and so and imam so and so and imam so and so they will come and banal discussion you call it discussion you call it dialogue you call it debate and we're going to bring you allow women to come, you understand, with the pants or with a skirt or whatever in your mask. You said, no, this is wrong. He says, okay, to have this and this. Okay, which one of you right? We Muslims. Okay? So you guys, we're not going to talk about culture. We're going to talk about Islam. Okay? Indeed, the saying of the believers when they are invited to Allah and His Messenger to judge between them, they submit surrender. This Imam, he taught some place, I've been taught some place. Forget about my culture, my country, my, 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 my. Let's put the book of Allah, the son of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and let even bring the madhab, if this what, because some people say, oh, don't understand the hadith, but the Imam said so and so. Okay, let's bring this and see the difference. Okay, Imam so and so, you have 10 minutes. Imam so and so, you have 10 minutes. Imam so and so, you have 10 minutes. Okay, now rebuttal. Okay, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Okay, and we bring some of the wise people of the community, said as the referee, and we go, okay, maybe in the first meeting we didn't reach conclusion. Okay, brothers and sisters, we're going to have the continuation of this in two months from now. It can take us five years, understand, ten years, whatever. Is, is it a sunnah way of debating these? I'm just saying, this is not the sunnah way of getting into this. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, listen. Yeah. Sunnah way or not so you, you want to you want to solve the problem, is it? The solve a problem, Allah is saying in Quran, bring your evidence if you are truthful. Somebody claims that what he's doing is right, I'm claiming that I'm the right. So now, and instead of playing games on the people, you say that is right, and I'm saying is right. No, bring these people because you and him and him, you don't know who. 
and the imam say you, imam sab and the other imam imam sab and everybody seen his imam to be the right now we bring the imams in front of the people and let the people watch and hear and listen educate the community and now yeah. the people will know what's right what's wrong yeah, i mean i think uh, debating uh, reconciliation talking to each I mean, other I'm talking about bringing people's heart together you can do that i think this is a great idea i mean why i mean you know i mean some person is getting if different it, information this, that's what i initially said if we can bring imams together as a means of inshallah knowing to each other better and then stepping towards unity in the end you know because we came here as we, the sticks but they mentioned the multiple sticks and the, you know we should be together you know hearts together and all that but anyway with, with all respects to the imam sahab first of all i really appreciate you giving us time you know number one mm -hmm. because you are elder because this is the minimum that you, i can a, do you're a, you're a, a scholarly person allah knows best but the thing is alhamdulillah i'm allah, glad that you said allah knows allah, best allah, i don't and, to claim and, the knowledge but but Ask, I'm, first of all, let me ask my forgiveness and from my brothers also, you know, I'm not a spokesperson though, but still, of our, if we said anything that you did not like, it's particularly me, you know, uh, I, let me ask forgiveness right there. Okay, no, please don't and, say and, this. No, no, I appreciate what, you coming what, here no, and talking no, no, to me. The other thing is... You don't say nothing, forgiveness for anything. No, no, he did no, not do no, anything no, no, wrong. Let me finish this. Nothing happens, as you know, and everybody as a Muslim know, except the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. People don't take a footstep, people don't take anything in the mouth, people don't utter a word. Everything is controlled by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Amen to Allah. And this is the will of Allah so far that we cannot move things and bring things together. You cannot walk to that place. This is the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is not you, it is Allah's, Allah's, Allah's izan, Allah's tawfiq, you know, that the things will not go at this time. But this is a stone. If you hit a stone hundred times, stone will not break, but hundred and one hit. It will break just like you said. Our generation, inshallah, will see that mingling, will see that closeness and the unity, inshallah. And when we come out or we do any action, as you said, mashallah, under the direction of Allah's commandments and the ways shown by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we don't go for the results. That's what I asked Brother Farhan, mashallah. He's much much learned than I am, you know. And uh, but the thing is, we don't feel like it didn't happen. That oh, Imam Sahib didn't agree. We didn't feel like you know this unity or this uh, collaboration never existed this time and we lost our purpose no alhamdulillah may Allah accept your listening and our coming and mashallah Amen. brother sultan he never knew he never knew about this whole thing we had just grabbed him and said sit up you know and brother khalid the afro-american brother you know brother khalid i met him last night and i told him we are going he came in the fajr he said i'll come there in the fajr also you know uh, and he came, but he had to go to the job, so he left, you know. SubhanAllah, so, Allah's tawfiq, you know, that we uh, we could sit here. It's Allah's tawfiq that brought us to the masjid. Mm -hmm. You know, you can you don't go to Obama's meeting in the morning unless, so this mm -hmm. meeting of the Allah's in the Fajr, there's mm -hmm. no comparison between these two. So Allah brings us, us there, and we should say thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And with this praise of inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and thank you each other, and I tell you, but we had opportunity, and I'll give mm -hmm. final word opportunity for the Farhan, he's... Um, there's no Allah knows best also, but Brother Farhan, give a final word in Sharad. But Akhi, please, in yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. saying to what he said, yeah. I appreciate you coming. You didn't say anything. You understand? You have to express yourself. Whatever, everything you say, you, I'm, I, I welcome it, and I'm, last, I'm thinking. Last couple of sentences. Let me. Since I have some, uh, you have feeling that of course I've been in community for ten plus years, as you have seen me. And. Me and Brother Khalid Farid came to you years ago. We had a petition signed, you know, for this thing. And Alhamdulillah, it was very nice of you that you gained game to give time and you listened positively. And I have been telling people that most positive response in the community I got from the Sheikh Adli at that time. But try to, I have a feeling that this is my passion, that we, you people should come to each other, to see each other, you know. And I sometimes I feel that even if I die here, you know, in this town, people will not come to the janaza if my janaza is in Nurul Huda. You know. mm. And I see this this depth of this that Sheikh I've been going to, Sheikh I've been listening to, and I bring my son also. No, she listen to Sheikh Adli. And Allah knows best where I'm going to be dying in the janaza. But the thing is, it's so gone to and my personal feeling. And I tell the Sheikh, you know, if I die, 
please on that day come to the Nur Huda if it should be there or I'll tell the Imam to come to this masjid, you know, to follow the Janaza. Because you see, now you would say, brother, you are exaggerating this thing to bring to the devil, but my ideology, forget about ideology for the heart of a Muslim brother, destroy the Kaaba. This is Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If it, if it, it hurts me, if it brings disunity in the community, Kaaba is nothing, you know. And so, whatever you say, I respect you being an elder and a scholarly brother. But I'm, a, alhamdulillah, saying, la ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah. And that gives me a lot of uh, uh, status. Things. This is from Allah's mercy, you know. But let me express myself. This is not simple anymore. Repeating the same issue again, which you have the right to say. And alhamdulillah, we listen to this. And we respect it. And we are leaving this place today with humility with asking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of our sins be forgiven inshallah that the purpose yeah. we came for Thank but you. at the time of this uh, good times when we are sitting alive together and we are asking for to see this combination but at the time of sorrow and grief you know inshallah we should have intention at least intention you know that you know I would go Muhammad used to come here in the masjid and talk to me I'll go there and say, whoever is ism, I'll st leave the ism there, you know. I don't know. This is the best I can tell you because, uh, alhamdulillah, since I strove, alhamdulillah, for at least for this single cause. And I have, with Brother Shami, you said, you know, I had a heated discussion with him. And later on, I went for forgiveness to him. I said, Brother Shami, forgive me. I'm y younger than his son's age. And I got so much passionate about this this unity factor alone. After Eid last year or two years ago, Brother Farhan was there maybe. We were sitting outside, Imam Sahib was sitting outside. I said, look, I prayed in the Jarbe Street. You are praying here. And I'm coming after the Eid. I'm seeing you. My heart goes after Ramadan, after la last 10 days of Ramadan, after crying. Where is the one Eid, you know? You see, th we, we don't have, I have nothing except emotions, you know? But Allah knows best. I don't know the deen part, but the one thing I know is, inshallah, to strive for this thing, the tafarqa, the main thing that we all over in Islam, as you said, we are beaten up. Look at the division. Look at where we are. Look at our own armies are occupying us more than, as brother said in the khutbah, than anything else. You know, our own armies, own people. Forget about the kufar. Mm -hmm. uh, the kufar, mm -hmm. subhanallah, the country of kufar. Here we are. <laughs> Last word will be yours. I'm not going to No, I, I don't. Uh, I, my, if my, uh, you want me to say something, I, I, again, I repeat that I really appreciate your coming here. And uh, I always understand, feel happy seeing you, believe me, okay? And he shocked me by telling me that you came from a Salafi uh, background, okay? But I <laughs> never even... put some, some, some green leaf or something there. No, I'm not, I'm not, you understand. <laughs> no, you didn't say Tablighi, you said Salafi. I, I, I know. Salafi only, not Tablighi, right? I, I know his brother is big Tablighi also, you know. So, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> so, but regardless, you understand, whatever you come in, uh, if Tablighi, Salafi, Khwani, whatever, your, your intention and your coming here... Uh, is may Allah reward you, you understand, for it. And uh, like uh, Brother Muhammad is saying, you understand, we don't, we don't have to see the result immediately. So I don't want you to be discouraged with my action. And I hope that you can see why you understand a saying, but I go for other alternative. Maybe you came for something but at least you have to understand that I'm a person about unity, but unity does not have to be in a, only in the way that you see it, okay? But at least you initiate in something which make me try to think about something can bring also about the result. And inshallah, we we'll keep trying inshallah. with dua, dua, with sincerity, all these things. Uh, inshallah, like I said, we don't have to see the fruit immediately, yeah. but it can happen, you see? But really, it hurts me to see people they could not see the sunnah, all right? Because this is the sunnah means the love of the Prophet, okay? The, the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa his teachings, this is what Allah had sent him guidance to be nur and to be huda and to be all these things. So when other person you understand, wearing a white coat and telling the people, I'm a doctor. 
but he is not a doctor. It hurts me. It kills me. Okay? I love my deen. I love my, the son of the prophet. I am here for the people to serve them. And I don't know if you know or not. I had cleaned the bathrooms for the people. Okay? So I'm not saying I'm so. No, I do anything. People, I serve them. This is what I'm here for. And the best they, way to serve them is to let them know what is right and what's wrong. And really, I feel that for making a move like this, it can be misunderstood by many people. But whenever the imam, he never, he came here. You can ask him, how did I welcome him? Yeah, you understand? Sure, sure, sure. Having in my office, making some tea, giving him some books or some CDs to try to understand to to show him you understand respect in front of everybody or by him you understand when i met him one day in the airport i did not show anything like about the same time i disagree about the way how things is taking place other places i could not support it neither i can give indication that is okay because some people will misunderstand it okay so please forgive me for not uh, accepting okay your proposal but i ask allah to reward you okay both of you and three of you for sitting on the stand and trying and this is good but believe me let's try to learn something from our past okay allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had told us one thing help one another towards righteousness but do not Allah is telling us, do not help one another towards sin and mischief. Somebody say, you try to tell me that building a mosque is a sin? No, you try to see, is this according Islam? It's all, all, always good to ask first, can we have two mosques in the same town, in few miles away from each other? Okay, things like this. So, helping something to establish we have to be careful in the future. Although it may look something good, but there is other people who have a better vision. So consultation, okay? But we got to see now later on how the com community got so far and more distant. And now basically what? Nuru Huda, Indo-Pakistani. Dekka, Arab. You understand? And people with money about both they understand okay this is the people with the money this is the people with the money this is the reason you finally understand 450 dollar tuition while you understand we could not make 150 dollar tuition for a child here so this afro-american mask okay well i'm not talking about exception few people this is for american afro-american this indo pakistani this is arab so we even segregated the community divided the community even not only in religious spaces, but even in the ethnic way that we became divided more. So although, but what would happen? We had help contributing by giving money, by beating, beating, being in the board, being understand, attending there. So we had contributed unintentionally. I don't, okay. Unknowing, we had contributed toward destroying the unity of the Muslims in Colombia, South Carolina. So it is very important for us to understand that we did something mistakenly, may Allah forgive us, that we need to correct it. So if it takes you a year and another trip, inshallah, maybe next time when you come, there is another imam, will be uh, easy going, he can go, uh, be dead, Orangeburg, he can... Don't make fatiha on me, but make dua for me. I'm not going, because but I don't think... The other think... imam is going not to going to leave the sunnah of the previous imam. That's a problem. Here the dynasty will go down. You know, that's a problem. And what the mashallah, the brother said, you know, we'll reward him for everything. So we'll leave on this uh, thing and brother Quran can give the final word or you whatever, inshallah. Uh, my son is not going to be the imam, okay? No, 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 the whoever, community no, 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 will no, no, bring... Whoever, they'll follow the... the, 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 the Archives of the Sheikh Adli's archives, you know. I pray that, so. That's what I wanted to move Sheikh Adli. I pray to, so. That's inshallah. what I wanted to move Sheikh Adli to do something, which is like you about the Nia. 
whatever the masjid started about the niyyah, there is a thing called tasheeya niyyah, change during the amal. There is a niyyah before the amal, there is a niyyah during the amal, there is a niyyah after the amal, right? When you do a tasheeya and you say astaghfar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I did not start with this niyyah, but may Allah accept during the amal, may Allah accept my niyyah for this. Let's say the, the originator of the masjid who started a masjid, whatever Allah knows best, then Allah knows best. And once Ramadan, they were sitting there and they asked, Oh Allah, you know what, how it got started. I probably broke brother's heart. I probably doubted this. Oh Allah, save me from this calamity. And he's already been cleared from this whole thing. And we are holding him accountable for his niya on that day, suspecting his niya on day one. Only Allah judge no, Allah Allah so I'm not what, judging no, no, anybody. What I'm saying is, so the best course for us would be to just don't go to that extent and say, look, my walking to there would close this gap of the, of the, of the people. And what you are going to do is there is mm-hmm. preach the right thing. Mm. You don't, we don't want to just oh, just preach the, about the etiquettes of the, of the eating. No. You preach the, the akayat there and say, look, I'm here. And your followers would see, Sheikh Hadil did not go for just photo op. Mm. He went for his ideology. So your ideology is saved. People hearts are kept up, like I'm just, the way I'm crying for this whole thing mm. is a hot people heart and the Kaaba I gave you exam. And inshallah, it will bring the the black masjid and the indo Pak masjid together. This is what we, we are for. Whatever, this is what I'm taking from you. This so-called this masjid and so-called that masjid mm-hmm. would be together. So, brother, you may say whatever, but it's tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You would do inshallah one day or mm-hmm. you will not one day, one day. It's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything is referred to Allah. It's, it's yeah. true. Allah knows that there's time. And, and if our Prophet yeah. was alive today yeah. and yeah. was sitting there, yeah. what would he do? What he would Ask do? to yourself. Yeah. I mean, only Prophet and Allah would know that yeah. resu- um, what you do. Yeah. But because I, know, I mean, the, yeah. the, the, the ohi stopped coming, right? So we do not have any. This is what I was saying, that the, 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 the older people and the smart people in the community, they should understand that as much as they concern for one Eid prayer together, they can think about what we can do really to bring, to solve this problem. And they have to continue with the project and continue because now you're moving towards, this is a form of worship. You understand, this is a, not only the Salah, Figure, yeah. bringing the people, you understand, together, yeah. okay, on a right foundation, this is a form of worship. Because, you understand, you try to bring about unity, not only in the body, but in the mind and in the heart. So this is good deed, okay, and that the people have, you understand, instead of two, now become three, the three one day will become 30, you understand, they will have more weight on the community, and they can reach to something. So congratulations for starting and thinking about it. Can we come it. next Sunday morning to, to have a second round and keep up every Sunday? No, inshallah, we should keep on striving and and from, and we should keep on praying. Allah, and make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah, I make intention for that to ask our beloved brother to be there before this Hajj. And if Allah wills, He will, inshallah. Make dua. Inshallah. We'll make dua for that. We'll on this intention and we, we, we got, today he is ready for a big hug not in the heat you know <laughs> may Allah reward you may Allah bless you all, you know, we all thank you very much you for your time yeah. and may Allah reward you all yeah. and continue yeah. the good yeah. deed yeah. may Allah thank you very much yeah. thank you brother yeah. Farhan yeah. Allah yeah. bless your day yeah. and bless your effort yeah. and please forgive me for any mistakes and misunderstanding yeah. and you are welcome yeah. anytime yeah. for any discussion yeah. as I said you know people from the different part of the country talk about your brother from Jackson, when oh, the Sheikh Adli was here and all the women went left the masjid, I said, yeah, <laughs> you gave a hard khutbah probably about the women role and all that stuff, you know, and, but he liked though, he said, no, he was on the point, you know, he was just talking about the gossip of, you know, outside, so, okay. so but he's all, I said, this is the beauty with our brother, you know. Alhamdulillah, so, may Allah, may Allah, 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 keep the dua, keep the good inshallah. intention and keep the effort, inshallah. Zakum Allah khair. May Allah reward you. Bless your family. Thank you very much. Subhanakullah wa bihamdik. Nashadu Allah ilaha illa 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 illa